Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about Git and specifically a scenario which I run into a lot. I use Git grep to search code bases. I've done another video on that. I'll try and remember and link it in the description, but otherwise you could search uh, Git grep Anthony writes code and probably get there. Uh, but sometimes I'm looking at a particular file or a particular class and I want to find the usage of it. And yeah, your IDE can probably do this, but I often use Git grep for this. Uh, this is actually my work repository. Uh, I work at Sentry. And let's say that I want to find this platform external issue class. And so what I'll do is I'll get grep for that. And sometimes you'll end up with a situation where there's this random file which mentions it in some part and it's just a bunch of junk that you don't care about. Uh, it is a text file because it's a JSON file, but really we want Git to sort of ignore this file. And it turns out there's a really nice way to do this using Git attributes. You can mark a file specifically as binary. So if we open up our Git attributes file here, and we have that file name and we mark it as binary. Now, if I were to run git grep again, you'll see that it is not matched here. I mean, technically it's matched. I think it shows up at the end and says like binary file was matched. Uh, but now our, you know, our search results are much less noisy. Oh, here it is. Yeah, binary file model manifest.json matches. And so we don't have you know, a thousand lines of a bunch of integers that I simply don't care about. Uh, so this is just a quick little tip using git attributes to ignore the diff. There are all sorts of other git attributes as well. This is just one of the more important ones that I find. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.